Well, the holidays are upon us and at Aspire, we take the season very seriously. So to help you get into the spirit, we're taking a look at some luxury laden ideas to make this your most memorable holiday season yet. For your travel itinerary, we begin with an Italian adventure in high speed winter racing. As a last minute gift idea, we look at the newest gold plated Porsche Blackberry. And finally, we'll check in with our lovely new co-host Naomi, who will prime you for party season with a lesson on the perfect holiday pour. All coming up on Aspire. First up, while not all of us fans of Italian speedsters can afford a new Lamborghini, maybe the holidays are the right time to treat ourselves to a little gift, a taste of what life is like in the really fast lane. How about a trip to Italy for a three-day winter racing experience in high-speed Lamborghinis? In February of 2012, the legendary car company will be hosting a driving school like none you've ever experienced before. For starters, you get a chance to test drive the new Lamborghini V12 Aventator on a snowy racetrack in Corona, Italy. There you'll train under the expert tutelage of driving instructors giving you the gears on how to handle snow and ice just in case you ever find yourself on a high-speed James Bond-esque chase through the snowy Alps. Now it's true, 6,000 euros may be a pricey gift to yourself, but you've been a good boy all year long, so go for it. Next up, we go to Naomi with the one holiday entertaining tip you need this season. Thanks, Pete. Welcome to Aspire, Chris. Thank you. Now, I understand that Stella Artois has a history that ties in with the holidays? Absolutely, it does. Yep, the Stella Artois brewery actually dates all the way back to 1366 in Belgium. Uh, but the Stella Artois that we know and love today was actually originally brewed as a Christmas beer. Oh. It was unusually light and clear and crisp uh, for the time, uh, so they named it Stella, which is in Latin a reference to star or the Christmas star. Oh, wow, that's perfect. Go figure. Well, then, for our viewers who are looking to get into the spirit and pour that perfectly poured beer, um, show us the process of how to pour it. Absolutely, because in Belgium, uh, where Stella Artois is made, they have a whole process for how they pour right. their beer over there. The Belgians are very much like the, uh, with their beer, like the French are to their wine. They're very crazy about it, much, much, much reverence. So, the first thing we're going to do to start uh, with the, uh, pouring the perfect Stella Artois is we're going to get a chalice, get the proper glass for it, and then we are going to make sure that it's nice and clean to drink out of. So, the first step here is called the cleansing. I'm Rinsing the air, cleaning the inside and the outside of it. And I'm going to rinse it until it is nice and crystal clear. Wow. Spot on. So that's the first step. We have a nice crystal clean Stella Artois chalice. No fingerprints, no soaps coming in here. We're ready to go. We're going to open up the tap handle. This is step number two. We're going to sacrifice the first few drops of beer there. We're going to, step three, pour at a 45 degree angle. Really lets the flavors kind of start cascading around. Mm -hmm. The fourth step is to straighten and lower it. The fifth step is the removal. Oh, wow. The sixth step is called uh, beheading. Oh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> and the seventh step is the judgment, making sure we have a proper amount of head. Belgium's actually like a lot of uh, head on their beer because they realize that's where a lot of the flavor of the right. hops gets retained. So the eighth step then is actually uh, a little odd to see. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I, I'd be questioning what you're doing right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> washing your, your beer kind of sounds a little bizarre. You're not used to seeing that in the bar. Right. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm making sure, of course, I don't get any dishwater in there, but I want uh, the perfect Star Artois should look perfect and crystal clear. Wow, well. that is pretty nice. Yeah, that's the eighth step. The ninth step then is actually my favorite, which is called the Bistro. It's presenting the perfect Star Artois to someone to enjoy. Well, thank you, Chris. Um, now, of course, not everyone has this exact setup at home. Sure. So, if someone was to go about pouring the perfect beer for the holidays at their own home, what would they have to do? Right, you're throwing a Christmas party and uh, you want to have something approximate right. to this, and you obviously don't have one of these. No. Uh, what you want to do is, of course, you can you know, get a case of these or uh, grab this is actually a Christmas bottle. Uh, we're going to start with that. But really, the most important thing, I think, is, of course, you have to have the proper Stella Artois chalice to right. really get all the flavors out of it. So, we want to welcome you to the Stella Artois family. Family, we actually have a glass. Oh my god, that, that actually has my name on it. <laughs> that has her name engraved on it. Oh, thank so you. So if you're really going to enjoy it, of course, you can't, if people at home don't have one with their name on it. Right. Uh, but we wanted to welcome Christmas you started early for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. So we're going to fill it up and give you the rest of the Christmas present thank right you. here. We are going to start at a 45 degree angle. Okay. If you're in your kitchen, you're going to go over your kitchen sink. You got this at a 45 degree angle. We're just going to pour nice and slow at first. Okay. And then once we start getting more towards the top, we're really gonna, we wanna agitate that head. We wanna get the, the multi, the, the bitterness of the beer to come out in that head. So we're over this kitchen sink like so. We're gonna grab a knife if we don't have a skimmer and we're gonna skim off that top. And if you don't have uh, water in your sink and aren't doing this, you can grab just a, a napkin, a paper towel, a mm -hmm. nice clean rag, a dish towel. To wipe off the excess. Yeah, make it nice and crystal clear. Naomi Kyle. 
Oh. My own beer. <laughs> I am so lucky today. That beer has your name all over it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, um, so I guess this would be the perfect uh, holiday sip for me if I were by a fireplace. This is perfect, Chris. Thank you. Totally my pleasure. Happy holidays, guys, and cheers. Prost. Finally, as a last minute gift idea, how about porches for all of your closest friends? Well, smartphone manufacturer BlackBerry is making this one step closer to reality with the release of their sleekest new phone that's designed by Porsche and the luxury phone designer Amosu. Amosu, the world's most prestigious name in phone makeovers, is readying the release of the P9981, featuring HD video recording, a 1.2 gigahertz processor, liquid graphics technology, and eight gigs of onboard memory. And in case your friend isn't a specs guy, Porsche and Amoso also are releasing this edition with exclusive gold plating, which may just help you cinch up the best gift of the year award. That's all for now, and if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe for more VIP-packed episodes of Ask Man Aspire. Happy Holidays.